So you just created an amazing looking HDR grade, beautiful contrast, rich colors, glorious highlights. And now your client wants an SDR version of that grade and this is where everything falls apart. Sounds familiar? Well, uh, this is why I created uh, this particular DCTL called HDR to SDR adapter. It is inspired by some high-end workflows as, as an alternative to Dolby Vision. It's gonna give you a very easy way how to go from your HDR grade to a very nice looking and palatable SDR version of it. So let's dive into it. We live in a postmodern world and certainly when it comes to HDR there are firmly established two schools of HDR. We just in our previous video learned about the one uh, that uh, prefers SDR grade that then gets adapted to HDR, but I find that especially younger cinematographers prefer to work in HDR. They embrace HDR to the maximum. They are looking at it as a new creative tool and they always grade as HDR first and really create very interesting looks that we haven't seen before. But then comes a challenge for them. It's like, how are we going to now translate this for the SDR viewers? And if you don't necessarily always have Dolby Vision metadata to hand, that can be a real problem. So this tool is inspired by this high-end uh, HDR to SDR mapping tools. It has a very sophisticated highlight tonal mapper. It also uh, preserves your color vibrance. It uh, maintains uh, the same stops of exposure and tonality that you had in your HDR. And it is interpreting the contrast in the best possible way. Um, it also works uh, depending if your HDR grade was in P3, the 65,000 nits, or if it was in Rec 20,000 nits, it will perfectly well down convert um, to a beautiful looking Rec 709 SDR images. Now, let me show you how it works. So here I have an uh, uh, Lakari Log C, so nothing in IDT. Um, then I have a, a little primary grade. Um, then here I have again a, a, a same show lot that's going from log C to log C. This is advantage, by the way, when you work with uh, Look Designer that you can create consistent show lots between your SDR and HDR workflows, regardless how you work, because their show lots are always in, in scene referred space. And then here I'm again using a Look Designer to output to HDR 10, which is um, Rec 2020 and PQ 1000. Okay. And then, you know, naturally, because uh, this is um, like a, an HDR grade, you know, I am actually kind of lifting it a little bit and making it more contrasty, more saturated. Now, of course, you can't see it here, but I'm going to show you now the CST version of that. Um, this is now me just adapting, you know, this um, HDR grade to my um, SDR screen and using standard DaVinci Resolve converter, which goes from Rec 20,000 nits to Rec 709. And yes, you can tell like, a, you know, a little bit the highlight is, is a little strong, but when you, I look at this grade on my HDR screen, it doesn't really feel like that. It doesn't have a, such a strong feel. It, it feels actually, you know, pleasant. So what we did then is we then basically said, okay, great. Let's kind of work a little bit on that highlight tonal mapping. So you see what I got here now is this adapter instead of my color space transform. So what this adapter does, it says like, okay, great. So you, this is your input, you know, Rec 2020 PQ 1000, you know, I can also go to P3, right? But you know, that's, that's, that's not what my output is. So because this is my SDR here, right? 
and um, then um, it fixed to Rec 709 output and then as you can tell like you know now this image feels more like a perceptually at least you see how the skin feels more like skin the brightness is adjusted itself the level of saturation is a little bit closer to what normally you would see on an HDR screen and now I want to come back to that example that I showed you earlier where I had um, you know a round tripping method so you see what I had here was um, basically an a SDR to HDR transform and then I'm trying to show how this particular image is going to look on an HDR screen so I'm using now an adapter here to convert my HDR to SDR and you see what a wonderful result it's doing it's basically really beautifully trying to match and preserve that you know feel of what you know a, 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 an HDR screen with a higher brightness and higher contrast and higher gamut actually really feels like and um, so I find this adapter to be more perceptually accurate uh, to uh, just a standard color conversion. Do you want to try this DCTL yourself? Then I'm inviting you to join uh, the Art of Color research group. Um, every month you're going to get a new interesting tool like this. For example, last month we had um, uh, a saturation tool that is actually working incredibly well. I'm going to make a video about it uh, soon. Um, also, you have a large library of white papers, research papers. You have a large library of seminars covering some really important subjects about color grading. A largest library anywhere in on the internet of uh, guest lectures from some of the biggest names in the film industry. And we're going to continue to give you new seminars, new tutorials. For example, this month we're going to be learning about the physics of flight then we're going to learn about high-end scripting and so on so yeah i really think it's a great place um, not just to get these tools and learn more but also meet other fellow colorists like yourself who might be interested in constantly improving their art of color grading so i hope to see you there and i want to thank you for uh, staying this long and uh, listening and watching this video until the end i really congratulate you on that and i really respect your time and uh, as we are just starting to build this channel i was hoping that you might be able to leave a comment below and let us know whether you like it or not or what would be the next thing you'd like to hear and if you could then uh, click like and subscribe would instantly give us a message that uh, this type of content is interesting to you and that we should be making more of it thank you very much for contributing to us